Last time we were here, comrades, we were still preparing to launch SAFTO. Today we are coming back to report about what is that we've done in line with the mandate we received from the Workers' Summit that took place on the 30th of April in 2016. The comrades who spoke here have made the job very easy because they were all relating to the stories of the disaster that unfolded in the destruction of workers' unity inside Kosatu at the time when workers needed the unity more than any other time in their lives because they were under attack and they're still under continuous attack from the other side. But there were some fellows who felt that the uh, unity of Kosatu was beginning to pose a threat to the eating that is currently underway, unabated, in every corner of our country. And they set schemes to disrupt that unity. And very briefly, comrades, I want to speak about why Gunjinji, when I was a mine worker, as a shop steward, there was a song that we used to sing every time we felt that we need to do something about our situation that ask a question, Kuti ni gunji nji nji. Ya yaz logo. Baya kala base benzi. Beka le li li su elabu. Baya kala base benzi. Beka le li li su elabu. Kuchinchi, 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 abosa, kuchinchi, kuchinchi. Now I hear that unonto unonto be gonzi lose po. When the claim apa uguti union ya kesa dau should be the most corrupt union in this country because it was led by a fellow who is a Zimbabwean and who continues to run the union from the WhatsApp from somewhere in Harare. That should be the most corrupt union. And I was uh, looking at uh, when you announced Uguti, the comrades from Gramstown who have come in, who are now members of Dimausa. I remembered that. These comrades were SAMU members yesterday. And uh, 86 of them were dismissed in a period of two weeks because they have convened or they were insisting that a central executive committee of their union be convened because they were making an allegation that uh, from what they could see from the union accounts, they said that there was about uh, 70 million rands that was missing. So they say these office bearers must be put on suspension whilst uh, we put in forensic auditors to look at this. I get on Gabi and Itibaninzi, there were seven provinces who were saying that. Eastern Cape, Western Cape, Pumalanga, Gauteng, Free State, everybody, except just two provinces who were already captured by the agenda. Limpompo and KwaZulu-Natal. 
<laughs> In the two weeks they were waiting for the CEC, every chairperson, secretary, every member of the Central Executive Committee from all of the seven provinces were suspended. No hearing. They created Save Our Samu SOS and tried. They went to court 15 times and won 14 times. But every time they were winning, the leadership using their own money was appealing. Just like these labor brokers are now appealing. But the and by the time they realized Makini as in the Aulendo, they had committed through a friendly lawyer to spend 25 million rands they didn't have. And the union was very happy to dish out to defend this. They went to the police, and the police did an initial investigation and came to the conclusion, you know, it's not 70 million, but 76 million rents that is missing. And they arrested four people, including the deputy general secretary of the union. Whilst that was happening, they will keep on stealing more. And uh, so when you say you are the most corrupt you are saying because in your union, you made an allegation, Yoguti, there was 34 million rands that was said to have, you, to have been used to buy a building. But then you discovered, Yoguti, no, 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 no. This building have been bought through the bond with the bank. So Ipimal, if we are bonded for 20 years to pay this building. Usakalang is 34 million, but 76 million this far have been discovered in the case of Samu. Ostix knows that, by the way. We are as the law on to. But to full on Abalaza, Ameganji, Quelama, Asha, Mabin, and Gay Kashili, we are Craig and Mussin Silaga. Bonke no komri raba. Oh komri do adi. They know that this is what happened. But when Navala zile pa umi we try si zogu iwena. Some we have two NECs now, two presidents, two general secretary. One faction is operating from the Samu building captured. One is is operating from the Kosadu head office. Every time Kuba we see here, Kosadu, we talk only four hours. Which one have a legitimate right to be here? Do you need more? Sipau, Sipau took a decision. You go buy the investment company and they invested in the very pharmaceutical companies they organize. In no time, that money grew to five billion rands. Welcome to Funubagu President, General Secretary. Each General Secretary in Memnyang, The last time they had a Congress was seven years ago or more. The last time they had a National Executive Committee was seven years ago. All of the executives are challenged in court, interdicted, and uh, they go this way, the other. They suspended everybody. <coughs> The whole of the Eastern Cape provincial leadership, oh, well, you know, lingo, may be here, may not be here. But suspending, Chinchile president, go to Angugu. Ubuyele, 
kwezi progressive forces ezifuna kuyiwe ku Congress. Our hope kukuti kula Congress ya abo, they will do the right thing. And that is to take a decision to abandon that sinking ship and to join the progressive forces in our country. Safto. <laughs>